Hey everybody out there, how's it going? It's Embrace the Matrix. It's been a little while since I made a video. A lot of things have been going on. Um, I'm a little under the weather, so my voice is a little bleh. And I've been sucking on cough drops for weeks. Um, but anyways, <clears throat> this is, uh, well, let me, let me back up a little bit here. This is the first painting in my new house as you can see from the layout I have a new creation station work area of course it's in the basement as always um, I have a much smaller area now dramatically smaller but that's fine I got enough room uh, to work and create um, working on larger canvases like 30 by 40s and you know bigger than that it will be extremely difficult for right now but I can go up to you know, you know 24 by 48 or something like that pretty comfortably here it's just yeah it's it's just not a lot of space but what are you gonna do so anyways <clears throat> this is uh, this is the first painting an idea I sort of had um, while I was moving took us about a week to move. We went from a 2,000 square foot house to a 1,700 square foot house. And you never really notice, you never really notice how much crap you have until you move. And I know that's everybody that's moved understands that, but my God, I mean, we can, we went from a, we actually had a, a four bedroom, two and a half bath, and now we moved to a five bedroom, three full bath. So, uh, more rooms and you know obviously in a, in more bathroom but um a little bit smaller square footage um, but the house is actually pretty big it's the biggest house on the street <laughs> ironically um, but nonetheless we love it and it's uh, a lot nicer of a house so um but anyways getting to the paint first uh, the first layer of yellow i did was uh, neon yellow I just wanted the background to be really bright and of course I mixed it with gloss gel medium the second layer of yellow I just went straight from the tube and uh, just this is just throwing a background down I was gonna do a multi canvas a couple 12 by 12s um, which I have a whole crap load of I bought a bunch when they were on sale and I just got I don't know I probably got like 20 of them or so maybe more um, but anyways <clears throat> Yeah, none of my paintings got damaged. Um, one of the paintings that I was working on, it was like a work in progress. Um, it got a little damaged uh, in the move, but everything came over pretty clean. Nothing, no major damage. I was pretty careful. I mean, just just my painting stuff, supplies, and blank can. I got a ton of blank canvases. Because, um, you know, Michaels has a sale, and you know 70% off and I go up there and go crazy um, but nonetheless uh, yeah so I had a bunch of blank canvases a bunch of obviously over 130 paintings so to move all that was not not fun oh, not to mention the the wife the kid my music studio and every other you know our offices and our work and our computers and all that kind of stuff so but I'm just I'm just blabbing on and on. Let's get back to this painting. So yeah, I got some nice. This is quarter inch painters tape. Um, I've used eighth inch in the past, uh, which is very small and very hard to work with. Um, but this is quarter inch, so a little bit nicer. I mean, obviously I was going for a line uh, type um, uh, definition, you know, or dynamic. So, you know, you can even see a little star right there if you kind of pause it. Um, I did that deliberately. Um, but nonetheless, I was, uh, you know, I was kind of just taping. I, you know, it, it's taken about two weeks since we moved completely and for the most part, un for the most part, unpacked everything for me to even be ready to even try to create anything um, it's been 
it was a, it was a very trying move and I don't want to keep talking about my move but yeah you know it just sucks when people say they're gonna help you and be there and then they bail on you and you don't have a lot of time and you schedule things and then you're stuck so pretty much me and my wife moved um, our entire house uh, with the help of some movers to do the furniture but yeah uh, I think we had like 50 or so totes <laughs> in boxes it was just ridiculous so yeah so I'm just taping away here so I don't know what else to tell you but I'm just putting tape down I'm trying to uh, break it up a little bit and give it some lines I knew at this point I said well I was going to come over it with uh, some black and red and see what happens you know like you know I have said it before in a lot of my a lot of my painting talks that I just go with the flow I mean I have an idea and being that this was my first um, painting in the new house I just uh, wanted to just get back to painting I mean you know I mean like you just uh, uh, for we like it was like three or four weeks I didn't do anything almost yeah probably a month because um, I was busy getting packed up and and everything else so um, I just wanted to get started so you know you might look at this one and go ah this is not that great you might look at it and go this is pretty cool um, but you know I'm just getting back into the groove so um, you know I got some I got some really cool ideas um, it, it stinks that my space is kind of limited but I'm also looking for an artist space um, so a place I can rent um, locally and uh, quite possibly just move it into a, a you know just an isolated you know space um, to really justify it I need to start selling some more paintings than I have and uh, you know so I can at least make the rent based on this I don't want to start coming out of my you know primary income any more than I already have to support my uh, my my love for painting so yeah you know uh, but yeah, anyways, I'm just getting back into things, and you know, we're, we're rolling again. Um, I, I like the lighting better, because in this little room, like to the left, obviously, is my dryer, and to the immediate left of that is the washer, and then to the right, I have my, I com combined all three of my, uh, my little trolleys, I got those little rolling storage carts, I combined three of them, and, and took everything that I need you know, we'll, we'll absolutely use and put it into one, and that's what you see to the right there is is a, is a a very you know packed full trolley of, of stuff, and then to the right behind it is the furnace and hot water tank and stuff. So yeah, I'm in a pretty pretty tight space, um, but uh, it's certainly not going to inhibit me. And actually, since then, I've actually put a tarp up, and of course, I'm working with Golden. Um, the first, the, the background was actually Artist Loft, you know, the, those student paints. Um, but hey, they come, they have neon colors. What the heck, you know? Doesn't look as bright on the camera, but believe me, it's it's neon. Um, but you know, actually, actually, since then, I've put a tarp up around uh, the left and, and the back. So when I get to, you'll see it in a, in a minute here. Um, when I get to uh, slinging paint, you know, I don't uh, get it everywhere because we are renting this place right now, but we might purchase it. There is an option to purchase, so um, we might just do that. Uh, I might make a quick little video <laughs> showing you my little work area. There's not much to show, but, you know, give you an updated look at my little uh, creation station studio. Um, but here we go. I'm just, you know, obviously putting over some red and black I, I was just gonna get some paint on the canvas and then kinda blend it in a little um, just kinda feeling it man I've been to be honest I've been really feeling uh, red and black lately so don't be surprised if you see more paintings with you know red and black uh, you know color palettes and maybe some white but I don't know I just been kinda feeling the red and black uh, you know contrast and digging it so and I love this uh, I think I'm using power red uh, I don't remember um, but 
with my big head. Um, yeah, so uh, how you guys doing? You guys doing good? Don't ever move. Let me tell you, moving sucks. Uh, it, it's, it's so stressful. It's probably one of the most stressful things I've been through recently. And I deal with, you know, if anybody all know me, I, I, uh, I daily, I, I deal, daily, deal, deal daily, deal, 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 daily, whatever, uh, deal daily with, you know, anxiety and depression and all that mental health issue stuff. And it's actually gotten somewhat progressively worse, um, recently under a lot of pressure and stress for my primary business, you know, a lot of things, um, are happening and just trying to maintain but uh so yeah you know i just i don't know i've been feeling these kind of colors i've just been feeling really really black really red and um so yeah so be expected to see more of that uh, but anyways yeah i uh i got some string out and i was like you know i'm gonna try and throw some lines in i really wanted to cake on the paint a little bit um but of course you know when when you're using string you know when i do my line stuff um, dr you know, dr kind of dry, I guess you'll say. I spray the canvas a little, as you saw right there, and then I also spray the string, which you didn't see. But I get the string wet first, um, so it kind of like drags the paint, as opposed to the string being dry. And um, you know, we're just doing a little blend in, and we'll do a little string and a little blend, and you know, make it look all purdy like, you know. And then we'll pull, we'll do the fun part, which is pulling the tape off, which, yeah, was, was kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest. Usually I, I, I do the tape in more of a systematic way where I know, which, well, I'm getting, I'm getting too far ahead. We're not even to the tape part yet. Good Lord. Yeah, see, it's, it's been crazy around here. Um, you know, this painting for me is great. I love it. I, I'd love to be a full-time working artist. That's certainly what I'm striving for, because that's really where my passion's at, that and music. You know, I got a primary business that I've had for over 10 years, which obviously pays the bills and, you know, my employees and stuff. And, you know, it's, and I've you know, been in my industry for over 15 years, so I know it pretty damn well. And we're the best at what we do, and that's great and all. And, you know, we provide a great service and, you know, help guys much bigger than us make millions of dollars. But nonetheless, uh, you know, this is where my passion's at. Okay, here we go, here we go. Now, I was like, oh, shit. Usually I remember which paint, which tape is on top of the other. And at this point, I'm like, you know what's going to happen? This shit's going to come off. It's going to rip off. And then it's going to get stuck. And then it's going to fuck up my goddamn pretty yellow lines, which is sort of what happened. Um, kind of is getting a little frantic here because trying to get I was trying to hold some tape so it didn't like drip back to fall because believe it or not pulling it off when it's you're probably thinking to yourself dude just wait till it dries well I've done that and you know what happens sometimes and most times it just rips the paint in chunks off so I don't get my nice clean lines like I want so I've done that and um, yeah I I'd rather just pull it off while it's still wet and yeah of course you got to do it carefully and and all that but then you get your nice clean lines and you don't get chunks ripped off when it dries so yeah this it turned out good you can see I mean we're, we're getting the, you're getting the idea but yeah there was a couple spots you know where the tape fell and got you know uh, pain on the lines and uh, you know but hey that's that's it was meant to be you know I don't stress on that you know this is my, my de-stress time so, yeah, I don't freak on that. I'm just like, well, all right. I, I knew I was going to do other things to the painting anyway, so. It wasn't like, oh, this is it, you know. Although, that, that you know, I could have stopped right here. I thought that I'd look cool, but I, th I honestly felt like the, um, the yellow was just too bright. Um, it was cool. It kind of reminded me of, like, Eddie Van Halen's guitar from, you know, like, the second album. Uh, if you're into that kind of music. Um, what I'm doing now, kind of half off camera, is I'm painting that, that center edge um, red. I just had a little extra red, and I just slapped on some paint, you know, to kind of, you know, give that um, connection in the middle. 
because obviously when they're together and taped, I couldn't do that. So I just threw a little red on, and even though that looks really bright compared to the the, the front of the canvas, yeah, I come over it with uh, the next step, which is going to be some spray, which I didn't get the whole footage. There was my uh, this cool little black and black spray I got. And unfortunately, the footage cuts out, so you don't see me do the whole thing. Um, but what I'm doing is kind of spraying it up in the air and letting it fall down on the painting, and there you go. That's what it looks like. So unfortunately, I, my camera cut out. I don't know. I got to get my stuff all set up just right. But nonetheless, we're moving on to the fun part. And at this point, you can see I got my tarp up because it's about to get crazy. So we got a little dark pyro red. Um, because I don't want it to be too bright, obviously, on this background. And I don't have the painting sitting. I have the painting. If you if you turn the left piece counterclock or clockwise and the right piece counterclockwise, then that's the way the painting is going to look. So what I was going for was, you know, I'm going to sling paint on the edges coming into the center. Um, there's a there's a method to my so-called madness here so I get one of my cheap brushes I got a whole bunch of paint mixed in with some uh, gloss gel medium and there we go and that per that first one was beautiful man when they come out like that I just I get excited I love it when they have those long thin streams with some big chunks in there god it's awesome I've gotten pretty good at slinging it to get it to come out that way but again there's no guarantee because paint's gonna do and come off the brush like it wants to um, I, I have some control but in reality I have no control I like to think I have more control over the paint than I do I'm kind of controlling like that so at this point I'm thinking okay I got a whole mess of paint I you know mixed up and I don't want to cover this thing in red but um that's pretty much it now here's here's the goocher because what I did was okay now the painting sitting correct you know the the right 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 the right way and I was gonna throw some sling some black on but as you'll see here in two seconds the camera died so we have missing footage unfortunately yeah you don't get to see me sling any black paint sorry but here's some stills I took. I, I didn't take too many, obviously. Like I said, I'm getting back in the swing of things. I appreciate it. I'm almost up to 400 subscribers. I think that's awesome. You all know when I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to have the biggest, best giveaway here like you've never seen. I, I'm going to be giving away all kinds of awesome shit. So, you know, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Because once we hit 500, man, that, that's going to be a huge milestone. And here's what it looked like. You can see the, uh, the black... Um, and stuff and yeah I mean it, it turned out pretty cool I think I like it but anyways you know it's a new one in the new house there'll be more thanks for watching please subscribe share all that good stuff I'm still talking and my uh, thing's gone that's alright I can keep talking you'll keep listening right nah I won't alright I'm out people thanks and uh, take care of yourselves